A path from darkness to light, this is the metaphor that has accompanied the journey of 40 American pilgrims from the United States to the Holy Land. Guided by Bishop James Tomeo, the first bishop of the Diocese of Laredo, a city on the border with Mexico, the participants from different cities, states, and ages had first-hand experience of the biblical places. We have just walked the Via Dolorosa, the way of the cross. We stand before the Church of the Holy Sepulchre. It is special for all of us, for all who believe, because we know that God is with, present within our life. After spending the first days in the northern area, the group of pilgrims walked on the stones and through the streets of Jesus' passion, death, and resurrection toward Jerusalem, where they participated in the celebration of the Holy Mass together with the Franciscans in the Basilica of the Holy Sepulchre that faces the empty tomb of Christ, an experience filled with a particular meaning. Some of the pilgrims come from areas hit by hurricanes. They started their journey with devastation in their eyes and with a heavy heart. It was the most saddest thing I ever seen in my life. I had been to Vietnam and I did it. I served my, tour, my time in Vietnam. But seeing these innocent people uh, suffer, it was not like a TV program where you could just turn the channel on and turn it off. It was real. Coming down here to the flight, to fly here to the pilgrimage, I had difficulties because every road that I needed to take was flooded, detoured. What could have taken me 40 minutes, took me two and a half hours. But that's what it is, and I think this timing of this could not have been any better to do the pilgrimage. They wanted to come and pray for their brothers and sisters that have lost home, that have lost their properties, but they have not lost their life. And we are grateful to God for that mercy and that goodness, because we know just as we've walked this road of Calvary, suffering happens in His life and in ours. But He pulls us through it. Some of the pilgrims are knights and ladies of the Equestrian Order of the Holy Sepulchre of Jerusalem, and on the occasion of the trip to the Holy Land, have received a special gift, a not-to-forget token, the pilgrim shell. The shell is given only to the knight or lady who comes to visit the Holy Land. It tells exactly what you are. You are the garden of Jesus. You are with Jesus, with the Lord, and you are bound with the house of the Lord here in the Holy Land. So this is what you are. We're honored and blessed to be members of the Knights and Ladies of the Holy Sepulchre. And this is my second visit to the Holy Land, my husband's first visit. But it's always a grace-filled journey to come here and to see the places where our Lord lived and taught and, and to be able to share the story of the Holy Land with our three sons and all our family at home. What has been planted in your heart here, may it flourish at home, Bishop Tamayo told the group of pilgrims during his homily at the Edicule of the Holy Sepulchre, a wish that already has the scent of hope. <laughs>